For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the corundum necklace to go with the corundum earrings I showed you last week. This week's necklace has a pendant, and then I finished it off with four or five, just a strip of these beads, and then I finished it off with chain and a clasp. There's the, that is the turquoise one, and then here is the bronze and brown, which I thought turned out really great for the fall. Um, but as you can see, get this one flipped over here, both are finished off with chain. So that way you don't have to go all the way up, actually, on the necklace. And you don't have to add all of this. You can only add one or two or whatever you want to do. But to get started, I'm actually going to start on the center of the piece and then we'll work to outward. do the actual necklace you're going to need 200 of your super duo beads 96 size 8 seed beads 5 grams of a size 11 seed bead those are all here along the edges a clasp not approximately 9 yards of fire line a size 12 needle and your chain chain whatever chain you want and a clasp totally up to you. So get your materials together and we'll get started. So the first thing I've done is I have completed one corundum earring without adding my top and I'm not going to explain how to do that because it'll just take up more time on the video but if you go back to last week's video you'll be able to see. I've made one complete one and tied it off. I've made a second one and I have my thread coming out of a size 8 seed bead here on along the second one. And I'm going to lay my two pieces together just like this so that way they lay side by side. Now we want to connect them here along the center. So what I'm actually going to do at this point is I'm going to take a size 11 seed bead. My thread is coming out of the bottom of the size 8. I'm going to come diagonally across to my first component here and I'm going to come right up through the size 8 seed bead. So that when you pull they will connect together as so. I'm going to pick up another size 11 seed bead and I'm going to come back to the first size 8 and I'm going to come down through the 8 so that now it's connected just like that. You'll want to go through and reinforce this one more time. So go through the 11, the 8, The 11, the 8, and then I'm going to go through the first 11 I added, through the 8, and then straight on through, you may have to do it a couple of beads at a time here, but we want to go right through to the next 8 on that first component. So that the bottom's connected and we're coming out of the top eight here. Pick up one eleven, come to the adjacent size eight, and I'm gonna come right down through the eight. So that when I pull, they connect together. I'm going to pick up one eight, come to the eight I was originally coming out of, <clears throat> and I'm going to go up through it so that once I do that, now this is connected. I'm going to reinforce this connection one more time, tie off the thread, and make a third component, just as I've done these two here. I have my first two attached pieces and now I've made my third component. I'm going to lay the third component right below the second component. Again, when you exit, you want to exit out of a size 8 seed bead. I'm going to lay my pieces side by side. 
I'm going to pick up one size 11. I'm going to come to the adjacent size 8, which is this one here, and I'm going to go right through the 8. So that that 11 connects here. I'm going to pick up one 11, take the needle, and I'm going to come back through the size 8 seed bead I was just coming out of to finish out the connection. So that when I do, it looks just like this. Now I'm going to go through, reinforce the connection one more time. So I'm going to go through the 11, the 8, the 11, in the eight. So the connection has been reinforced, but now I need to connect my beads here. So I'm gonna go through the first 11, through the eight, and then straight on, as, and you might not be able to do all of it straight on, but we want to come out the 8. Here on the second component. So first thing. I'm going to pick up an 11. And I'm going to come through the adjacent size 8 so that it connects there and then pick up an 11 and come through the adjacent 8. I'm going to reinforce this, tie this thread off, and then make a fourth component. Alright, so I've made my fourth component and I've went ahead and connected it. Now on these three components here, we just connected it here, here. Well now on this one, this fourth component, it needs to be connected here, 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 and here. So this fourth component is the only place you're going to connect it in four places. So one, two, three, and four. And when you finish connecting this last component, you want to come out of the size eight so that when you hold it, it kind of makes um, a diamond shape, a box shape, whatever you want to say. But I'm going to come out of the size eight of my fourth piece. Now, if you want to add a bead or a Monty or something here in the center, you can definitely do that. I chose not to, so it's completely up to you. I'm just merely giving you suggestions on what you can do. Now, coming out of that bead, I'm going to pick up 111, one Super Duo, and three 11s. So, an 11, a Super, and three 11s. And I'm going to let those fall all the way down. And I'm going to take my needle and come back through the second hole. Back down through that second hole of the Super Duo I just added. I'm going to pick up one 11 and go through just the size 8 seed bead that I was coming out of. So that my beads will lay to make a circle above the bead. So it'll look just like this. I'm going to come through that first 11. Pick up three 11s. And come through the three 11s here on the top.
so that when you pull, this is what you should have. You want to pick up three 11s and come through the 11 here, right below the Super Duo. So that when you pull, I'm going to go through the 8, the three 11s, and the 8. So I'm exiting the opposite eight here. Now I'm going to do the same thing here that I just did here. So I'm going to pick up an 11, a Super Duo, and three 11s. Let those drop and come down to the second hole of the Super Duo. Pick up one 11 and come through the eight that I was originally coming out of. I'm going to go through that first 11. Pick up three 11s and come through these top three 11s. Pick up three 11s and go through the 11 right here below the Super Duo. These two pieces here is what we're going to build our straps on. I'm going to go ahead and tie this thread off with a couple of really good half hitch knots. So I've got my center completely finished and if you'll pay attention on the top, they do overlap so that you can't see those three seed beads there on the back and that's completely fine. That's what you want it to do. I've started another component and I've done everything except for add this last set of three size 11s here in one corner. So I'm going to pick up one 11. And I'm going to go through the middle 11 of this side component here. Then I'm going to pick up one 11. And I'm going to come through the 8. So that technically you have three beads there now. that when you pull, you have your three beads. Now you want to stitch around the edges to come out of this opposite size 11 seed bead up here at the top of the component you just made. So that what you have should look like this. Now just like I added this down here, I'm going to add the same thing here. So I'm going to pick up one 11, one super, and three 11s. I'll let those drop down. I'm going to go through the other hole in my super duo. <clears throat> Pick up 
pick up one 11 and go through the same 11 that you were coming out of on the base. Go through the first 11. Pick up three 11s and go through these top three 11s above the Super Duo. Pick up three 11s and go through the size 11 under the Super Duo. So that now this piece looks exactly like this piece. And I'm going to tie this thread off with a couple of good half hitch knots. And I'm going to repeat making my components and connecting them just like I've done here to each other. Now, on this green necklace here, I did four. One, two, three, four. Stop when you get to the last component because we have to do it just a little differently. You won't be adding your piece here in between. You'll be doing something a little different. But this one has four. The brown also has four. Now you can do five, you can do three, you can do two. It's completely up to you. But you'll want to go ahead and finish your desired components on one side and I'll show you how to finish off the end. All right, <clears throat> I wanted to do a sample with only two of these in the front so you could see what it would look like. So um, when I get to the opposite side, instead of adding something like this, I'm coming out of the middle seed bead and I'm gonna pick up six 11s. And I'm going to come back through the 11 I'm coming out of to make my circle. Now I'm going to go through and reinforce this several times and tie off the thread. Once you do that, you want to make the same amount of these on this side. So that way it'll be even. And like I said, on the however many you do, on the last one, remember to put your loop of six seed beads. So I have both of the ends completed and I've taken the I've taken the desired length of chain for one side of the necklace. I'm going to take a jump ring, a thicker jump ring. I'm going to open that ring and slide it through the hole where I've made the seed beads. Now I'm going to take the end link of my chain, connect it, and then make sure to close that jump ring. Get it good and closed. Now what you can do, if you don't like the idea of using the jump ring, you can take and actually stitch the ring with your, uh, your six seed beads. It's completely up to you how you want to do that and take care of it. Now when you get to the end, other end of your chain, you want to go ahead and add one end of your clasp. So I'm going to take another pretty thick jump ring. You can also use a split ring. Completely up to you. I'm going to open the ring. Put on one part of my clasp. And thread on the end link of chain. And close. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that I have my chain connected. So here's a look at the completed necklaces. I don't suggest that you make more than four here along the edge or five unless you're going to make a really long necklace. This may flip on some people depending on the length that you make. So you may actually only want to do two or three of these little components. 
it's just completely up to you. I wore this one for a day, and these four components here wanted to flip a little bit, but I wear my necklaces pretty short. So these actually come up on the sides of my neck. So it's completely up to you, but we do have the pattern and the kits available on Etsy and on our website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Be sure and come back next week for another wonderful video.